Hello, um, this is Creopop 3D pen and I'm going to show a bit about this pen today. I think most of 3D pens use some sort of plastic material as its ink and they melt plastic with heat so it the, the tip of the pen usually get really hot and you might burn yourself and melting plastic it's it's it's, it's horrible smell but this one creopop is very different from those um, plastic melting 3d pens it uses special uh, special um, ink yeah it's if you don't um, harden this ink it's it's just like jello or jam kind of not really liquid liquid but not like hard yeah and this has three very bright ultraviolet leds on the tip focus here please yes thank you and it's really oh um, bright. This pen has three different modes. First one is uh, just a you know normal 3D pen. You can just draw things with this pen and and second mode is what they called filling mode. It just blah 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 ink comes out and without LED lighting up I would call it diarrhea mode and now you can see um, what kind of thing this ink is it's like just like jelly or jam it's not really liquid liquid but not hard at all very soft and somewhat sticky and there's another mode called LED only mode and so when you make something that requires um, you to fill the inks and later you want to make the filled part hard then you can use those two modes and yeah make something it's really fun to make things with this creopop 3d pen but there is one problem so the ink gets hard when ultraviolet lights were applied and this pen has five different speeds five lights are the fastest this one is the slowest but even with the slowest speed if you want to make a straight line in this space see it's the ink is coming out too fast or the light is not strong enough for it to make to, to get hard so maybe I have to apply LED light later and then it becomes mm, yeah well yeah then now it's kind of hard uh, so that is one problem but to make it to make this product safe for children to use I think it's it's it was necessary to make the the ultraviolet light too strong but still mm, if you want to make something really detailed three-dimensionally it's a bit difficult because of this uh, slowness of the hardening process but if you 
want to make something three-dimensional in two-dimensional-ish ways, it works very well. So now there is only one white LED light here. This is the slowest speed. It can work and as I explained before, even the slowest mode is too fast for, well, at least for me to make something really detailed. Uh, but that is only if I want to make something three-dimensionally. Blah, blah, blah. Well, I, I, I made this one using the, the, the slowest speed mode and well, this is some sort of three-dimensional drawing thing. But if you want to make something really detailed or if you want to make three-dimensional object quickly using by using uh, faster speed modes, then I would recommend you to draw things on a mat, uh, I mean on, on a two-dimensional surface and then um, create something three-dimensional. For example, I made two of this, these um, flat ATSA, no, AT80, was it? Uh, from Star Wars series and then later I connected these parts, two parts together and this way it's much easier and you can make much detailed objects than just start drawing it on a space to try to make three-dimensional things. Um, it came with three different uh, pen tips and so you can uh, yeah different pen tips and they have many different colors as well as special inks for example this one changes its color in different temperature and and they also have a glowing one elastic aromatic body paint magnetic conductive glittering inks as well so if you are looking for a device that can recreate two dimensional experience of drawing or sketching on a paper into 3D then this device Creopop might not be exactly the one you are looking for but still it is very fun to make things with this device and it's I would say this is just a, a new way of drawing new tool of drawing somewhere in between drawing and sculpting and this is very different from traditional way of drawing and traditional drawing tool or sculpting tool but still fun to play with and, and I cannot wait to make some more, some more weird things 